Uh, welcome everybody to this lecture in International Monetary Economics. We are in chapter 18 and we are discussing the effects of the one or the other exogenous shock uh, on uh, the domestic economy in a fixed exchange rate system. So the exchange rate is fixed. This is a very special setting and hence we once more have to find out what are the effects of a fiscal policy on the domestic economy. So in this slide you can see the initial situation. The um, central bank has decided you open money supply. Money supply is equal to uh, this initial level. Goods prices are equal to P0 and the exchange rate is equal to the fixed exchange rate level E0. Now the government increases government spending uh, this leads to a shift of the IS curve upwards. IS curve shifts upwards and hence we have to find out how this shock uh, would be digested in a floating exchange rate system. In a floating exchange rate system uh, money supply is constant so that also the goods prices are constant and the exchange rate would decrease so an appreciation of the domestic currency would occur. However, here we are not living in a floating exchange rate world, but in a fixed exchange rate world. So we will argue that this red scenario will not materialize, but that there is only some pressure on the foreign exchange market that the exchange rate will decrease. There is appreciation pressure for the domestic currency. Therefore, the central bank has to intervene in the foreign exchange market. It is the case that the domestic currency is strong and the foreign currency is weak. So the central bank has to support the weak foreign currency and has to buy foreign currency. In a first step, the central bank has to print domestic money. When the central bank has domestic money in its hands, it will walk over to the foreign exchange market. The central bank is buying foreign currency and is paying with freshly printed domestic currency. Therefore, money supply in circulation will increase. And when money supply in circulation increases, uh, this uh, is conducted via the foreign component of money supply. The foreign component of money supply increases. So the central bank has to intervene in the foreign exchange market until the exchange rate reaches the initial level E2. Therefore, we know that the goods prices will increase to the level P2. So inflation is a problem in this uh, situation. Goods prices increase. And it is also the case that money supply will increase. Hence, an increase in government spending has the following effects. Of course, the exchange rate level is fixed in a fixed exchange rate system. An increase in government spending leads to an increase of goods prices and the central bank has to intervene in the foreign exchange market. Uh, the foreign component of money supply increases. Now you have just seen the graphical solution of this shock and in the next video I will show you how, you, how we can confirm these results by computing the one or the other multiplier. Thank you very much for watching this first video on an expansionary fiscal policy. Thank you.